have a 1994 model Stewart Spectre Design NS4. Note the headstock there. You see this is actually one of the ones that uh, Stewart did after Kramer's deal was complete and he started making them again himself. Lots of things have been done to this base, but look at the grain on the wood as we're going through here. Uh, there's a bunch of finish checks here on the back. Uh, this thing originally, according to PJ, was an oil finish, and obviously somebody stripped the oil and went back to gloss. Uh, this one particular section here with all the checking and stuff in it is because I believe they didn't get all the oil out of the wood. So it didn't totally take. Also, you'll notice the battery box has been changed out. I'm not sure what reason there. Um, but there it is, and it's got two batteries in it. It's fully functional, it's just a little larger than the standard. And if you look up here at the top of the head, you can see there's where it's autographed and tells you that it was made in 94. So this is one of the real deal. This is uh, right after Kramer was out to lunch and Stuart was back making his own stuff. Uh, as always, um, I'd like to talk about what these bases have. This one is a little different than just about everything else I've got. This has the 18 volt circuit. Uh, those of us, the 18 volt has, <laughs> otherwise just the 18 volt US circuit. Uh, we have a volume, we have a pickup blend, and then a stacked bass and treble, so it has like a two band EQ of sorts, and these are EMG DCs. Uh, again, taking a look at the front of the guitar, just a lot of nice figuring in the wood. Uh, a lot of player wear on this thing, uh, somebody obviously had it, liked it, it sounded good to them, they used it. Um, frets are clean, neck is nice and straight. Everything's in pretty good shape overall. So let's get down to what it sounds like. All right, so my usual settings. Uh, I've put the EQ at flat, set this at the center, and this is wide open, so this is EQ flat, and then both pickups in the middle where the detente is, and this is full volume. This thing can get really loud really fast. So for our purposes here, if we're not killing the camera, I'll back the volume down. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's start with the pickups front to back. So the back pickup, again, I'm not touching EQ. to the front pickup. It's pretty aggressive this bass. Okay, so we gotta roll it back to the middle just to give you some ideas of what the others do. Treble. Okay, it can, it, with the flick of this knob it can go from aggressively bright to kind of the reggae bump. Also on the bass, we'll turn the bass all the way down. And you can hear it coming in and there. It can get really, really stout. So for our purposes here, let's turn the treble down, turn the bass up just a hair. Okay, that's what this thing does. Really, as it sits right now, I think these things are um, really cool. They're a little different than the NS2. They're a little different than the others that I've got. Um, I'm thinking this one's probably going to roll with me for some fly dates that I've got coming up, some live dates. You'll see this thing in pictures and videos and whatnot. Uh, beyond that, it's probably going to get a refin. Since it's already had one once, I might as well do it because this is not supposed to be gloss. And even though I like gloss, since we have a pink trend going, this might just have to turn pink. There's the JD and the other bases put away in the case. Um, lots of pink floating around. I think this would be a perfect candidate. I think this would be a perfect candidate for uh, the Dave Fowler treatment with the salmon pink and the black stripe. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this one as well. For those of you who have these, you know what they're all about and what they do. Uh, if you get your chance to try one, by all means do it. The neck on this thing feels very similar uh, to some of the Euro models, except it has the nice big volute at the back to give it stability on the headstock. Not real thick front to back. 
you can see it. Uh, I don't have a, a set of uh, micrometers or calipers, so I can't tell you exactly what it is. But I figured this base will get a hip shot, the neck will turn black, and the body wings will turn salmon pink. Kind of fun, kind of cool. Something different, but it's to honor my buddy Dave Feller because he is the man. Anyway, uh, again, in our ever endearing saga of which bases to play, which bases to keep, I think this one's a keeper. Hope you all are well, and we'll see you next time.